How's it going? I'm here with something a little new. I talked about this in a live stream I did earlier, and it actually coincides with something that's going on in the news right now. Ilya Kovalchuk was just dismissed by SKA Petersburg. So I was wondering, uh, what would happen is he, if he was on the New Jersey Devils? This is perfect timing for it. Uh, I'm just in season mode here. I just want to do one year. And if you guys are interested in this, I could do an entire GM mode with it. Just see how it goes. Uh, see how it impacts for the future. But I have added Ilya Kovalchuk onto the New Jersey Devils. And I just want to see how this will work out. Uh, so let's start the season. As you see there, Ilya Kovalchuk, 32 years old, 90 overall, right wing sniper. Is right there. Uh, difficulty, uh, superstar, hardcore simulation, period 20 minutes. Roster control standard, so I can't control any other team's rosters. Uh, CPU trades on and trade difficulty on hard. Uh, advanced settings. Assistant coach edit lines, no. Uh, where's injuries? Are there no injuries? Injuries, there we go, off. Injuries, off. Alright, so let's start the season. I'm pretty I'm pretty interested by this because uh, he's, he's a fairly good player. Uh, he's going on to a team who isn't very good, so... I'm really wondering on how much better they will do with Ilya Kovalchuk on the team. Uh, off. I don't. I do not want them touching the line. So best lines. This is what it's saying. Mike Camilleri with Adam Henrique and Ilya Kovalchuk. Second line: Eliash, Zajac, and Yuri Talusti. Ryan Klo, Steven Gianta, and Kyle Palmieri on the third. And on the fourth, you have Jordan Tutu, uh, Jacob Jefferson, and Tomo Rutu. Uh, who is scratched right now? Right wing. Blancy. Okay, I'm not going to put him in the lineup. Uh, so, yep. Actually, I can just go right here and look at scratched. Blancy, Schlemko, and Gregnani. Gregnani. I don't know how to pronounce that one. Uh, these are how the defensive lines look. And the goalies is Corey Schneider and Keith Kincaid. So that's how that looks. So let's get to simulating. I don't want to change anything. Uh, if I get a great trade, I guess I'll take it. Just because it's real, it has to be realistic. But I just really want to see how they would do with him on the team. So let's go first half of the season and see how they do. Ooh, okay. So they get a couple wins. Ilya Kovalchuk is one of my favorite players. Uh... I really like uh, how good of a shot he has. I think it's incredible. It's almost up there with Koval or uh, with Ovechkin. Uh, Kovalchuk's shot is. And when I was a kid, I used to love taking uh, Kovalchuk and Ovechkin and putting them on the same team. That was uh, one of my favorite combinations to do. Like back when he he was on Atlanta, I would always try and make a trade happen so he went to Washington, so I could have. Uh, Ov, uh, Ovi and Kovalchuk on the same team and half the time they'd tear it up and get like 40-50 goals each And but I I don't know I, ju I just like Kovalchuk as a player I think it'd be awesome if he came back to the NHL his current situation is a little unclear I heard he was just dismissed from the team not released or like cut or anything like that so he's still on the roster it's just they, they like did an in-house suspension like uh, has been done with Evander Kane because he sleeps in through meetings. Or it's something like that. Again, I'm not exactly too clear on the situation. You could probably look it up and get more information than I could tell you. But that that's basically what it is. Um, I w again, like I said, I'd love for him to come back. And obviously he'd make New Jersey a better team. Like you see here, 24-21-5 through 50 games fantastic uh doing much better than they are in real life i think he could come back to new jersey and have a 30 goal season right now uh and they do have the rights to him so uh but first let's take a look at the uh standings kolachuk 51 points so 51 points in 50 games 
I, th I think he's proven it for himself right here. He could come back and be an elite player. Let's take a look at his stats. Last time he played was 2012-2013, where he played 37 games, and he had 31 points. So, you know, not too bad. Looks like he would have been, like, 25-goal scorer. Uh, one of the worst seasons he, he would have had for goal scoring, but... Again, 25 goals isn't bad. 25 goals is actually really good. Uh, right now, it looks like he's on pace for 30, which uh, it's a little below his career average, but he's not exactly playing on a uh, good team. He doesn't have anybody with him to help him score, really. The, next, the pers people he's playing with is Henrik and Camilleri. Not exactly the greatest players. Uh, I would definitely like to have him on a better team. I think he'd be able to thrive a lot more. Like on Dallas, I think he'd be insane playing with uh, Jamie Benn and Tyler Sagan. Or on Washington, him, <laughs> Backstrom, and Kovalchuk. Or Kovalchuk, Backstrom, and Ovi would be great together. Uh, but yeah, uh, he doesn't have too many people helping him out. So, you know, it's not he's not having a bad season. But where we are in the East is... Oh, that's the West. Whoops. East. Okay, so we're 10th in the East. We're, we're just out of a playoff spot, only by a couple points. If we have a, ha, uh, a hot second half, we can get into a playoff spot. Uh, I don't know uh, if New Jersey is, really is a playoff team. I don't think they quite have a good enough team for that, even though they have a star goalie and a star forward now in Ilya Kovalchuk. Uh, they don't have a defensive court, and they don't have very good depth. So... For this team to make the playoffs, that'd be a, uh, a bit of a stretch. But this is just to show you how good Ilya Kovalchuk is and how good it would make New Jersey if he came back to the team. But then again, uh, you never know what he's going to do. Uh, for the real-life situation, who knows what's going to happen. He could stay with Petersburg, or he could... I don't know what's gonna. Ha I don't know the exact situation. He could come come back to the NHL. I don't know right now, but I would love to see him come back, and I would love to see if New Jersey can make the playoffs with him. So, right now it's looking like no, but who knows? Getting a couple wins here. Yeah, I just hmm, I don't think they have what it takes, even if Kovalchuk came back. And New Jersey is in the middle of a rebuild right now. Uh, and if he came back, I think he would hurt that a little bit, like you see here. I think they'll, they're just going to miss the playoffs. And they need to be uh, having a top five pick every year if they want to try and rebuild. And clearly they didn't, going 39, 37, and 5. Uh, let's take a look at the stats. Ilya Kovalchuk with 86 points. Oh my god, still proving that he, uh, he's he got it. If I can go over here and sort by points. Uh, still proving that he's got it. 31 goals and 55 assists. The guy can get it done. Uh, point per game player on a team that should not have a point per game player. Uh, Adam Henrique and Mike Camilleri both had 20 goal seasons. Uh, both great for them. I don't think Henrik has had a 20-goal season yet. Actually, no, he has. But he had the highest scoring point. He had the most points he's ever had in a season. So, yeah, that, that just speak volumes, speaks volumes for what Ilya Kovalchuk can do. And let's see where he placed in the league for scoring. Uh, entire league, there we go. All right, so out of the entire league, he was sixth. Sixth in points. Just coming back and playing with the New Jersey Devils. The te a team, that's exactly how it is. No changes to it. <sighs> I don't know. He's a fantastic player. I don't really know what to, uh, too much else to say about him. And goals. Uh, he wasn't the greatest goal scorer. Uh but he, he didn't really have anybody around him to help set him up. So, you know, if he had been playing with, I don't know, like Parise and Vanek, uh, he probably could have had five more goals just like them. Probably would have taken a couple away from him, but 
Uh, if he'd been on Pittsburgh, I couldn't imagine what he would do. Uh, that'd be fantastic to see, though. Um, but yeah, uh, let's take a look at the team stats. See where we finished in the entire league. I think I think he's a great player. I'd love to see him come back, as I've said numerous times. But yeah, like I said, New Jersey needs to be having a top five pick, and they finished seventh. So who knows? Who knows what he'd do if he actually came back? But 24th place in the entire league is what they did in NHL 16. So Ilya Kovalchuk coming back would not win the Stanley Cup with New Jersey. But let's just for fun, let's see uh, see who'd win the cup uh, in this season mode. We can just keep going. Simulate to that date. Okay. But yeah, uh, New Jersey's in the middle of a rebuild right now. Him coming back, I don't think would be the greatest thing for him. I would love to see him come back. But New Jersey's in the middle of a rebuild. They need to get be getting top five picks uh, to try and rebuild. And obviously, they got a, a big prospect in uh, Pavel Zacha. Uh, we'll see what he can do as he progresses throughout his career. I think he's a player kind of like Ilya Kovalchuk. But uh, we'll see what he can do. Hopefully he could get a supporting cast around him. Uh, when Kovalchuk was in New Jersey, he had Parise with him. So uh, that was probably a big reason why they made the cup finals in 2012, was it? 2011? 2012, I believe. No, it was 2011. No, oh, crap, I can't even remember. Uh, but the reason why they made the cup finals against LA, which I believe was 2012. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just getting mixed up with myself right now. Uh, and, oh wow, okay. This just takes uh, credibility from everything that happened. Uh, Vancouver won the final, uh, the Stanley Cup finals. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> um... It was Detroit against Philadelphia in the Eastern Conference Finals and Vancouver against Chicago in the West. So, you know, I don't know <laughs> if uh, this pl exact playoff tree would happen. So, yeah, th that kind of takes credibility of away from what New Jersey just did. But, yeah, this is what uh, Ilya Kovalchuk would do if he came back, according to NHL 16. If you guys would like to see me do a GM mode with this, I would be happy to. Because I'm actually curious to see what would happen with uh, the New Jersey Devils and Ilya Kovalchuk. But if you guys want to see that, just let me know. But until next time then, I'll see ya.